back to the channel. I'm Andy Allen for Apply Shoda Can. Today, we're going to look at Techie Shodan. So if you're uh, um, a yellow belt or a green belt, blue belt, whatever, and you haven't learned the kata yet, this is a great video for you. You're gonna follow along. Or if you already know the kata, you want some uh, refresher, also good for you as well. So the, the kata starts off going this direction. That's the way you're going to do it. I'm gonna do everything backwards. So I am your mirror image, okay? So I'm going to move this way, which is to my left, as you move to the right and follow along. This cut of the salutation or opening position, you have your your hands. It's the way I learned it. You may have learned something slightly different. So if these two fingers overlap, these two fingers left over right, and your hands are made like knife hands or shoot those held in front of your groin like this, okay? The older Okinawan versions, um, after you bow, you have this kind of motion. I've, I've adopted that into my, my techie. Let's bow. Right, techie shodan, yoi. So if you're a shodokan background, you're gonna come like this. I have adopted this kind of salutation. So you're going to go this way, all right? <coughs> so give yourself some space to your right. Now, first motion, you're gonna drop your weight and your left hand, your left leg is gonna cross over your right. So we have one, your right knee raises, left hand comes like this, two. Okay, let's try that again. So I'm gonna break it down nice and slow. I'm kind of assuming that the kata is new to you. One, the way I do this knee raise is my knee comes up between my arms. Two, okay? So kibadachi, have your feet parallel. Your knees are kind of pushed out. Don't let your knees collapse like that. Uh, some versions, some people have a, a higher stance like this. The shoulder cannon version tends to be be uh, lower like this. Okay, from here, don't let your knees collapse in as you rotate your upper body, but your elbow is gonna come hit your open hand. Three, okay? And this position right here, if I give you a bird's eye view like that, my, my hand is not wrapped around my elbow like this, it's just straight for cut the form. And this palm is pointing to the floor like this, not like this. All right, let's start from the beginning again. Ready, one, two. So the application of this is brutal. Uh, basically the head is in here and you're gonna hit your, your hand with your elbow, the head gets in the way. Three, from there, and again, careful this knee doesn't collapse in like so. From here, you're going to make this cup and saucer formation on your right hip. Okay, so from here, cup and saucer, and you look to your left, right? This can be considered a guillotine choke. This is around the neck and we're lifting up here. This arm, get on bry. And then this left arm kind of looks like a hook punch. It can be a hook punch, it can be a number of things. Like that. All right, front of the game again. Ready, one, two, three, four, cup and saucer, five, get on bry. Six hook punch. Let's try that sequence again. The one nice thing about this kata is it's uh, depending on how you count, it's 29 movements long. You do half the kata one way, and then you flip it around and do the mirror image. All right, again. One crossover. On two, right knee comes up between your forearms. Two. Don't let your knees collapse. Three. Four cup and saucer. Five, get on bry. And six, kagizuki. All right, stepping over this way. Seven, and then raise your knee again, make uchiyuki. Eight. All right, I'll start from the beginning. Again, one, and we have looked to your right. Two, three. Four cup and saucer. Five ginan brai. Six kagizuki. Seven crossover. Left knee come nice and high. Eight. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time because the next move is probably the trickiest one to learn. I'll break that down a little bit for you. All right, ready? Looking to your right. One. Two. Three, four, five, get on bry, six, 
Peggy Dickey. Seven. Big high knee raise. Eight. One more time, a little more fluidly. Ready? One, two, three, four. Look into your left. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so next one, we'll, we'll break this down a little bit for a minute or so. The next movement is, is here. That's the tricky to learn for the first time. So let's break the, uh, the different arms down. Okay, so from here, this forearm, you're just making get on bride. Just try that a few times. One, return. Two, return. Circular motion. Three, return. Four, return. Let's drop that hand, leave it alone. So we're here. Drop that hand. Let's focus on this arm. Circular motion. One. The way I've been taught, although it, it's kind of flip-flop from here to here, here and back here, palm is down. Again, on your hip, cross this in front of your face. One, return. Two, return. Three, return. Four, return. Okay, so now we're gonna put those two movements together. So again, just for context, where are we in the kata? Boom, 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 boom. We are here, okay? So this arm comes here, this arm comes here at the same time, nice and slow. The arm going up, passes on the outside. So this is the arm going up, crosses out here, not on the inside. Ready, slow, one, and return. Two, and return. This, uh, again, from dojo to dojo, this position is going to vary. I kind of do it point to the top of my head. Again, three, and again, four. All right, so from there, this arm comes here, and this arm has what looks like a, a strike to the head. This can be a number of applications. There's some great stuff out there. So from here, two arms move, move together. One, return. Two, return, three, return. So this arm's high, this arm's low, four. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. Ready, so uh, this is different than the Hian Katas where we start with feet apart. This one, our feet are together, okay? From here, one, two, three, four, Five Gidambrai, six Kagiziki, seven Uchiuke, eight. Okay, here's a part we're just working on. Big motion, nine. And if you've got the best karate series, this is all one motion. For now, we'll make it two. So nine and ten. Okay, moving on from there. Uh, oddly enough, uh, again, the best karate series, just looking is a count. I don't know why, but it is. So you look, but for now, if you know want, want to know what we're doing, you're going to have to look at the camera. Okay, so from here, uh, after you look, we have this namagashi, returning wave kick. So your your uh, palm of your foot, or the sole of your foot, kind of faces up like this. And some people put it to the inside of the thigh, some people put it front. It doesn't really matter. So from here, this right, uh, your left leg comes up and then all our arms do is this. Okay, very simple. Look, my palm is facing me and after my namagashi, I turn like this. Again, be careful not to let your knee collapse in like that. Okay, we'll try that a few times. From here, namagashi and turn. One, return. Two, return. Three, Return, four. Okay, um, there's an awesome, awesome application. This uh, Ian Abernathy is a bunch. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll link some at the end of the video if you're interested in looking at the bunkai. Okay, so from there, it's the same thing to the other side, but you keep your, your elbow on top of the back of your hand like this. Now I'm gonna you with this foot and we go this way. So from here, palm is facing me, knuckles face you. It's one, I rotate, rotate the forearm, 
and then I rotate it back again like this, okay? Let's try from here, ready? One, big motion, two. Namagashi, three. Namagashi, four. All right, from the beginning. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Crossover step, seven. Big high knee, eight, Uchiuke. Big motion, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now from here, cup and saucer to your right hip, 13. And this is going to feel like a hammer fist strike. This is gonna feel like a hook punch. There, 15. Okay, let's do that one more time. That's, that's the end of the first half of the kata. The next 14 movements are exactly the same, but in mirror image. All right, from beginning. Ready, one, crossover. Two, high knee. Three, elbow to hand. Four, cup and saucer. Five, get him dry. Six, your hook punch, kagajuki. Seven, crossover step. Eight, high knee, uchiuki. Nine, big circular motion. 10, elbow to your back of your, your fist. Going to your left. 11, namagashi, this, this little forearm strike. 12, 13, cup and saucer. And 14, I think I may have counted that wrong. Right, and uh, as far as the ki points are concerned, there's two ki in this kata. There's your first one right there. Okay. CPA kids, how we doing? Able to follow along? Okay, good. Okay, let's do it again. Ready, one, two, three, elbow to hand, four, five, get him dry, six, kagizuki, seven, crossover step, eight, nine, big circle, 10, 11, 12, 13, cup and saucer, and 14 is your first ki. Okay, so that's the first half of the kata. And the next, where we went this way before, we're going this way, same thing other side. Okay, so let's start from there. In this arm position, uh, someone once taught me, uh, it's, it's good to remember, but really doesn't make any sense. Flowing water position, so if your forearm is horizontal, but you kind of angle it down a little bit, so like a drop of water will run down your forearm. It just doesn't work, but the point is, make a little uh, downward angle from elbow to fist. All right, so we're right here. Make sure there's space between your forearm and your chest. It's not collapsed in like this. Like when you're throwing a hook punch, you don't throw it like that. Okay, so from here, left hand comes underneath. One, same thing, elbow goes to your hand. Two, don't let your knee collapse. Three, cup and saucer to your left hip. Seven, get them dry. Eight, hook punch. Crossover step, nine, and 10. Okay, let's start at the halfway point again from here. So you are, you are positioning yourself like this. Again, just a reminder, I'm your mirror image. Right, ready? One, two, elbow in the hand. The head is in here, we're controlling the head. We're hitting the head with the elbow. Three, cup and saucer. So this is your regular hikate position. This is here. And again, some different versions of the kata. Some have that hand separated, some have them like this, palm down. This is the way I do it, just because of the way I, I've been taught. All right? From here, get on bry. Kagizuki. Crossover step. High knee. 
Uchiyuki. All right, we'll go again from there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, crossover, six, seven. All right, from here, let's do that, that uh, crazy movement again. So again, we're gonna isolate the arms once more. So this is what we're doing. Let's look at this arm only. Make get them bry, return. Get them bry, return. Get them bry. And if you're familiar with Hian yeah, Sandan, one, two, three, it kind of feels like that. You kind of come in, 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 and out. In and out. All right, where am I? Bah, 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 bah. Again, in, in, and out. One, return. Two, return. Three, return. Let's look at this arm. Throw this one away. Your right fist is on your hip. Big circular motion, come across the face, up to your right temple. One, palm is down. Return. Two, palm is down, return. Three, four, and five. All right, let's put it all together. So from here, this arm makes get and bry. This arm, that circular position up there. Ready, one, return. Left hand up, right on hip. Two, return. Three, return. Four, return. Looking good. Five, okay, from there, this hand comes to this position and this hand drops down the feeling this is just one application. Is it your, your th it's short little strike? You're hitting with those knuckles into the nose, okay? So from here we have that. And I remember when I was learning this kata, once it was time to do it with speed, I kept hitting the back of my, my hand with my elbow. It always hurt a lot. You get used to that after a while or you stop doing it. Okay, from here, two counts. One and two. Again. One and two. Again, one and two. Again, one and two. Again, one and two. Okay, from there, we have these namagashi, these returning wave kicks again. We have these short little strikes to the neck. All right, so from here, right leg comes up, namagashi. Turn your body, forearm strikes, twist, twist, twist to the neck. Ready, one, two. Now, your left leg, same thing. This arm is gonna come like this. Ready, one, two. Let's just keep going. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, let's go from here again. So we're gonna do this short sequence. One, two, three, and four, by count, ready? One, take your time, nice and slow. Two, three, four. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, ah, uh, some thumbs up, good. Uh, so we are almost finished the kata, the, the second half of it, then we'll throw everything together. We'll practice a few times. Okay, let's start here again. One, two, three, four. Cup and saucer to your left hip. Five and six. And there's your second kiai. Again, left hand up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and that's your second ki. Uh, that's the entire kata. So now we're going to go through it from start to finish, slowly, uh, maybe half a dozen times. Then we'll pick up the pace. 
So I'm going to count it a little bit differently this time. So on these, the look is a count. All right, and really, in the Best Cry series, the, the counts are standardized, and you typically will see that in a bunch of all the Shotokan dojos that you visit. They count the same way, and some people put a lot of emphasis on what movement is count number 15. It doesn't matter. The only reason why they're standardized ways to count is just to make it easy to teach the masses. That's all it means. Okay, so from beginning, right? Take your shodan. Yoi. So your um, two fingers, left two fingers, cover your right two fingers. Ready? Moving to your right. I have to remember to go backwards. One, cross over. Two, elbow to hand. Three, four, cross. Uh, Cup and saucer. Five, get and bry. Six, seven, crossover. Big high knee. Eight, big circular motion. Nine, that's all one count actually. Look, 10, 11. Look, 12, 13. Cup and saucer, 14. Look to your left, 15. First ki. -ai. Right, so 15 out of 29, that's the first half of the kata. The reason why it's an odd number, because uh, movement number one, you have this, but you don't have that in the second half. All right, from here, uh, 16, 17, elbow into hand, 18, cup and saucer, 19, get on right, 20, hook punch, 21, crossover step, 22, Big circular motion, 23, all one count. Look, 24, Namagashi, 25, 26, 27, 28, cup and saucer, 29. It's your last motion, and you stand up, joy, and bow. Okay. So we'll go uh, a couple times, a couple more times slow. Um, Maybe one more time with count. And then next time you just follow along with no count. And then uh, we'll try, try to speed things up. Okay. Ready? Itch. Knee. And remember, for movement three, don't let your stance collapse. Okay, you try to turn the torso. The waist can turn a bit like this, but don't do that. Three, four, cup and saucer. And while we're running through this, keep your knees bent. You may as well get some of a workout. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, cup and saucer, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, crossover, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, yummy. Okay, one more time with count, and then we'll do it. You follow along with no count, still slow, and then we will start speeding things up. All right, here we go. Ready? One, your weight needs to drop. Cross your foot over. And make sure your uh, your heel is up as you cross over. Don't put your heel down. Then what you end up with is, if I put my toes on that line, these toes are ahead of the line. And as you keep walking, you kind of move at, a, at an angle. So if you're interested in keeping that embosin, the, the pattern on the floor with your feet, correct, heel up will allow you to put your toes on that line. Okay, heel up. All right, again, ready, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and the end. Okay, so every kata has a, a rhythm. Uh, some kata have slow parts. And fast parts, uh, a broken count. So in here in showdown, you've got one, two, three. Same thing as techie. There's a there's a different rhythm to it. So let's do it one more time with count. Uh, and the fast parts are fast. The slow parts are slow. Okay, here we go. Go away. One. This is fast. Two. Now the combination looks like. One, two, three, four. Right? Three, four, five, six. Slow, seven. Fast, eight. Fast, nine. Fast, ten, eleven. Fast, twelve, thirteen. Fast, fourteen, fifteen. Okay? And that may have been a little too quick for my white belts to follow up. Slow, sixteen. Next four are fast. 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's pause for people to catch up. Slow, 21. Fast, 22. Fast, 23. Fast, 24, 5. Fast, 26, 7. And fast, 28, 9. Okay. So this time, no count. No talking. I'm going to do the kata. I'm going to do it kind of slow so you can keep up with me. But I'll give you the right kind of tempo. Although it's going to be take a bit longer for me to get to the kata than it would normally. Okay. Great. Take your short on. Go away. Hashime. Was that too fast? Who could keep up with that? <laughs> All right, one more time. <laughs> I remember a long, long time ago, I was at a seminar, a Japanese fellow by the name of Koyama. It was hot, it was like 35 Celsius in the dojo. Just, everyone's dripping with sweat. One more time, one more time. So we just give her, give her, give her. One more time, 20 counts later, one more time. Yeah, trouble with counting. Good training though, okay. Again, same thing. I'm gonna slow what I would normally, how I do the kata, but the rhythm will be there for you to kind of learn that. You all right? Begin. Hey. Okay. So we're going to do it three more times. Uh, on your own, I'm going to do it with you. But I'm going to speed things up now. I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it, with the, uh, the proper speed. Q. 
Kime. And I'll, uh, I'll give a few seconds at the end in case you're just learning this and can't keep up and following behind a bit, okay? Um, so if you're playing this video back, uh, as with any video, if you find it going a little bit too fast, down the bottom of your screen, there's a little gear wheel, click that, select playback speed, and maybe pick 0.75. It will slow things down to three quarter speed. Right, take your shot on. We're going to do two more times speed again. You do your pace, I'll do mine. Right, take your shot on. One more time. So for those at home, if you know the kata, you should be ramping things up. Last time. Right? Thank you, Shodan. Ashme. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. So again, I will put some links around the screen. I may link a few down in the video description if you're looking at some bunkai ideas. I've got a pad drill for you, and there's a few there from Ian Abernathy as well. Until next time, I'm Andy Alford, Fly Short again. <laughs>